Dear students, welcome to Study Buzz, your online study channel. Today we are going to study the computer subject for class 2. The chapter number is 1. Chapter name Computer A Smart Machine. The book name AI and You. This is the screenshot of the chapter Computer a Smart Machine. In the first page you can see the difference between humans and computer. In the first image you can see the boy is looking tired but the computer is looking happy. It means a computer never gets tired but a human gets tired and needs rest in the second image you can see the boy is hurriedly doing his work but the computer is in relaxing mode it means a computer works very fast but human cannot work as fast as a computer. In the third image you can see the computer is storing lots of image and data but the person is struggling with its memory. In the fourth image you can see the computer is happy as it's not making any mistake but the human is looking puzzled because he can make mistakes in the fifth image you can see the computer cannot think it works on the instruction of humans but human can think and take decisions in the sixth image, a computer does not have any feelings, but human, we have feelings and emotions also. So here the differences has been written, you can read it and learn it. The difference between humans and computer. Human, a human gets tired and need rest. A computer never gets tired. A human cannot work as fast as a computer. A computer works very fast. A human can store limited information. A computer can store a large amount of information. A human can make mistakes. A computer never makes mistakes. A human can think and take decision. A computer cannot think on its own. A human has feelings and emotions. A computer does not have any feelings. Now, let's discuss the types of computers. There are three types given in the book. First one is desktop computers, second laptop and the third one is tablet and smartphones. Desktop computers are big in size. These computers are kept on a desk. The computers cannot be easily carried from one place to another. Now about laptop. Laptop computers are smaller than desktop computers. Laptops are kept on laps or tables. Laptops can be carried around easily. Now, tablet and smartphones. Tablets and smartphones are smaller than laptops. Tablets and smartphones are handy. 
they are meant to be carried along. Uses of computers at different places. In the image you can see the uses of computers in the schools where the computers are used to teach and learn, to prepare timetable, question papers and report cards, to do projects, to keep records of books in the library, the use of computer at home, to draw and play games, to listen to music and watch videos, to do homework and projects, the use of computer in the offices, to type, store and print official documents, to keep records of employees, the use of computer in banks, to keep the details of customer and their bank accounts, to keep record of cash, to withdraw money from ATM, the use of computer in the hospitals, to maintain details of patients, to do medical tests and surgeries, to prepare medical reports, shops and malls, how they use computers, there they use computer to prepare and print bills, to keep records of item. The use of computer in the airports and railway stations. To book and cancel tickets. To keep details of passengers. To update the arrival and departure timings. So, here we have completed the chapter Computer a Smart Machine. This is the exercise screenshot which is given in the textbook. I request you all to pause the video here and read each and every question and try to answer them. All the points has been discussed in the video. I hope you will be able to answer each and every question. Now think and answer. What is the full form of PC? You can discuss this question with your parents and figure it out. Thank you for studying with the study bus.